Is Marcus Rogers really a Freemason? Is he really in the Illuminati? Now, a lot of people have told me that he's a Freemason or in the Illuminati because Celestial has said so. Now, there has, there has been no evidence whatsoever, but they believe it because of Celestial. And, you know, they say it's really believable because she was accurate about T.D. Jakes. Now, let's talk about T.D. Jakes for a second, right? There has been a allegations and questionable things about him before, uh, before um, Celestial said anything, right? I was making posts about uh, T.D. Jakes before Celestial said anything. There was videos about him at the parties and P. Diddy and this, that, and all these allegations before Celestial said anything. And I'm not trying to, you know, disregard the accuracy of Celestial, but what, what I'm going to say is, not, is that it's not enough. Just because someone was accurate about someone else, it does not mean that they're accurate about this person. And we should not be led by accuracy. We should always test the spirit. The Bible says to test all things. Every prophecy must be tested. Every prophecy. If a prophet gives a, a prophecy, it's going to be tested by another prophet. So you can't just run and go with everything celestial says, right? If something becomes accurate, cool, it's accurate. Even witches and warlocks can be accurate. You know, I'm not out just right now. I'm not calling her a witch or a warlock, but you know what I'm talking about. You cannot be led by prophecy. You cannot be led by accuracy. Now, I'm going to watch the video where Marcus Rogers responds to um, Celestial and certain allegations. Listen, I've heard people on TikTok prophesy that Marcus was supposed to die in a specific, I think two years ago or last year. He's alive today. So those TikTok prophecies were false, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and watch this video and we're gonna go from there. Marcus Rogers, complicit, a mason, a liar, a deceiver, a very new initiate and convert into the Freemasons and the Illuminati, very newly minted. This man has not been with them for a long time. He is one of their newest poster boys. He finally caught their attention. And this dream is about so the lady that was talking in the beginning was Celestial, all right? Now, this woman talking now is totally different, right? The lady talking in the beginning was Celestial. You can hear her voice and whatnot. It's kind of sped up. Now, this lady is totally different, and she's going to give a warning dream about Marcus Rogers. Marcus Rogers? God tell me he's a witch. He's a warlock. And shut your mouth you lying devil and yes it's just like that because i can speak with that boldness because that's exactly what it is i got so many videos calling out freemasons freemasonry is demonic i'll never be a freemason i got videos calling out the music industry calling out the illuminati furthermore i'm always telling y'all pray about everything don't put no man on a pedestal including me you got to know god for yourself you got to know the bible for yourself because of stuff like this people just running their mouth saying god God told them this. God ain't nowhere near you, woman, because it's a lie, right? That's just the bottom line. What you're saying is a lie. Freemasonry is demonic. I have no parts of that. Don't want. And I'm going to stop that right there. So Marcus said that Freemasonry is demonic and he wants no parts of it. Listen, I've seen Marcus expose and speak out against Freemasonry of the occult, the Illuminati, certain celebrities. Now, when you're in Freemasonry or when you're in the Illuminati, you're not going to expose Freemasonry and expose the Illuminati. You're just not going to do that. You're not going to. And when you're a Freemason, you're not going to preach on holiness and repentance. And I know a lot of you are going to say, well, he got the Trump prophecy wrong. What does that have to do with him being a Freemason or in the Illuminati? Oh, well, we think he's arrogant and prideful. What does that have to do with him being a Freemason or Illuminati? People think I'm arrogant and prideful too. But what does that have to do with him being a Freemason? Just because you don't like him? Just because of what? Just because, you know, he may be connected to certain people you don't agree with? Just because he apologized to T.D. Jakes? Does that make him a Freemason or in the Illuminati? No. And some people say, yo, T uh, Marcus rides with T.D. Jakes. Listen. I watched the live stream. I think he did it yesterday or 
today, I forget when it was, when he was talking about these things, all right? He wasn't saying that, you know, he rides with T.D. Uh, uh, T. Jakes till the end of it all and he's with them. T.D. Jakes didn't do it. No, 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 he's just cautioning people, you know, to make sure that they have the facts and if the facts come out, yeah, then you talk about it and whatnot, you know, but there is all of this like, just everyone is just following the wind of celestial and it comes in a form of idolatry because people will listen to anyone that's accurate people will listen to the next big thing and that's my thing let's say she's a woman of god even if she's a woman of god woman of god can be wrong men of god can be wrong and witches and warlocks are often wrong even though they're accurate and certain times they're often wrong because they say things from the flesh and they say things from the spirit of divination and the, and the spirit of divination is, is not reliable. The spirit of divination will expose you too. Now this right here, it exposes her because how can you make a statement and say the Lord told me that Marcus Rogers is a new initiate, that Marcus Rogers is brotherhood, that Marcus Rogers is uh, in the Illuminati. How can you even say that? It doesn't add up with the things he exposes, the things he talks about holding Lecrae accountable, holding certain people in the, in the music industry accountable, Christians, and then exposing the darkness of Beyonce, Jay-Z, Billie Eilish, all these people in the Illuminati. How can you be in the Illuminati and come against the Illuminati? Satan can't cast out Satan. A kingdom of divided against itself, it, it won't stand. No parts of it, and I constantly call it out. You better seek God for yourself because there's a lot of nonsense on the internet. That's why I move the way that I do. People think I'm arrogant. I'm not arrogant. I just see the nonsense that goes on in the name of Christianity. People say, Marcus, you don't got to say nothing. You don't got to defend yourself. No, I don't give no place to the devil. So let me make it clear. I am against Freemasonry. I've never been a Freemason. It's demonic. There you go. Marcus Rogers. Marcus Rogers said that he, that Freemasonry is demonic. Now, if you're in Freemasonry, there's no way you're going to publicly come out and say Freemasonry is demonic, the Illuminati is demonic. And Marcus has gone in an onslaught of exposing the Illuminati and Freemasonry. And he, he people who are free, like, let's say, let's say I'm uh, T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes hangs around with Obviously, people are Freemason. P. Diddy is definitely a Freemason. And, and certain people believe that T.D. Jakes is a Freemason. T.D. Jakes' messages are just on motivation. It has nothing to do with, you know, true repentance, holiness, the fear of the Lord, or anything like that. And I see Marcus say these things. And now, are me and Marcus going to agree with everything theologically? No. Are we going to agree with everything, with who's false, who isn't false? No. You know, but I can tell you for a fact, this man is not a Freemason or the in, in the Illuminati. And none of y'all have evidence that he's, that he's in it. It doesn't matter. Some people are like, he's a wolf. He's a wolf. He's a wolf. He's a wolf. You know, and I'm like, but is he a Freemason? Y'all calling him a wolf, but is he a Freemason? Is he an Illuminati? I don't believe he's a wolf at all. Right. I don't believe he's a wolf, even though me and him may disagree on some things. You know, he, he may walk with this person. I may walk with this person. He may not like this person. He may not like that doesn't make him a wolf. That doesn't make him an Illuminati. See, so see, you can believe I'm a wolf, but saying I'm a Freemason or in the Illuminati is just a stretch because you have no evidence of me being in the Illuminati or me being a, a Freemason. And if Celestial really got that word from the Lord, it would be so evident. Marcus's doctrine would reflect a doctrine of a Christian Freemason. The Bible says you will know them by their fruit. Has Marcus been perfect? No. Have I been perfect? No. And this is not to defend Marcus. Marcus doesn't even know I'm doing this video. I rarely talk to Marcus. Very rare. Like barely ever talk to Marcus. You feel me? And this is not a video to stand up for him, but this is a video that this is ridiculous. And I know I did the response video on Celestial's prophecy on T.D. Jakes. I did it because it was accurate and it need to be heard 
that these things are coming to light and these things are coming to pass. But I made it, I made myself very careful um, of what of what I said in that video because I don't want people to just go follow her for my following when I haven't studied. I just I literally just made a video of response, a reaction to Celestial. Now, there are gonna be some women that are gonna get upset in the comments because they suffer with idolatry. Some of y'all are gonna get manifest in the comments for no reason because I'm not gonna call Celestial woman of God. I'm not gonna call her. I'm careful. Y'all can call this person a woman, a man of God, I don't care. I do reaction videos at the end of the day. If a witch came out, a known witch came out and prophesied something accurately about TD Jakes, I would do a, I would do a reaction. I would do a reaction. I know nothing about Celestial except now that she was she gave a word about TD Jakes. It was accurate. She gave a word about Marcus. This is false. You know what I mean? And I don't binge watch her stuff or anything like that. I stumbled upon this video on YouTube where Marcus was um, talking about this. You feel me? And people are not false because they walk with false people. Some people may struggle with discernment. In certain areas, they may not think they're actually false. You know, it doesn't mean they're false. I've walked with false people before. You feel me? Um, so I think it's ridiculous. I think what Celestio said is completely false. I mean, just listening to her and just saying, you know, if you listen to her and you're like, oh, Marcus, you're a Freemason, you're Illuminati. He's going to be like, why do you say that? Because Celestio said that. The man has just publicly renounced, rebuked, exposed the Illuminati and Freemasonry. And he's done it many times. He's done it many, many times. Some of you, there will be people that will be so accurate and you'll believe them to be a man or woman of God. And then what will happen is that they will say something that's completely unbiblical. Or they'll say something about another person that's not true, and you'll believe it because of the power and accuracy they demonstrated before. The Bible talks about that um, through the activity of Satan, um, the Antichrist will come and he will operate with all power um, and signs and wonders. All power with lying signs and wonders. You understand me? So he's not a Freemason. Listen, I've studied, for, I've studied Freemasons. I've been around Freemasons. You know, I've, I've, I've exposed and studied the Illuminati. I know how they operate. I know how they act. I know how they preach. I know all those things. And before I was exposing false prophets, I was exposing people in the Illuminati and Freemasonry. That's what I used to do uh, before I had any platform. I was really yoked into those things. Marcus is not a Freemason. Celestial was completely wrong about this, 1,000%. And if she had, you know, humility in this area she would repent you feel me because marcus is not a freemason right and i know y'all can say we can all miss it but you know when people say we missed it it's not the fact that they actually heard anything they just it came from the flesh it, it, it can come from a demon or it come from a place of just i want to couch chase i don't know when i expose someone i expose with evidence that's my thing when I expose people, I expose false teaching. You'll never see me say, this person's a Freemason, right, um, without evidence. Now, if the Holy Spirit revealed things to me, I, I would speak if it's actually accurate, right? But you would see the evidence and the fruit of this person being a Freemason. It has, they're not gonna preach, they're not gonna preach holiness, repentance, hell, the fear of the Lord. They're not gonna expose the Illuminati and Freemason. They're not gonna do those things. You understand me? You know, I've talked to Marcus on the phone. You know, he's been warning me about certain people and this, that. You know, you got to pray about this. You know, this person, I've seen them this. You know, there's people that live lives like this and they're hypocrites and this, that, yada, yada, yada. I've talked about certain things. This man is not a Freemason. This man is not in the Illuminati. You know, growing up, um, I've learned, I, I, I have, um, I, I was super, I'm, you know, I'm 29 years old. So way back then when Marcus would do all the military videos, I was super young. I wasn't in ministry. Um, and I would look up to his videos. I'd be like, this is so encouraging. This is so motivational and stuff like that. And I wanted to make this video just to be like, yo, man, the man's not a Freemason. You can disagree with him on so many things. You may not agree with him. You may not. A lot of people, I think, don't like him because uh, maybe he exposes and confrontational. And it's, it's what I do. 
You know, there's a lot of people that respect him and love him. And I guess there's some people that don't. And that's, that goes with me too. That goes with any person. This is why you should never put any man on a pedestal. Straight up. Me, Marcus, anyone. No, don't put any man on a pedestal. You know, because there's always going to be someone that likes them, someone that doesn't. Someone's going to think they're a wolf. Someone that's going to think they're not a wolf. People think I'm a wolf. People think I'm a warlock. People think that it really doesn't matter. This is why you need to know Jesus for yourself. And this is why Marcus said, unfollow everybody, including myself, unfollow me, so you can get time with the Lord. Okay, follow Jesus. Okay, don't just be listening to prophecies and running with prophecies and, and, and whatnot. Test the prophecies. Test all of them. Because even if one is wrong, then that person made a mistake and they're wrong. Okay, period.